There, that's better. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I actually have Dr. Four Fossil. I need to, I need to actually play it. I take it back. I did play it for a while, and then I forgot about it. Shame on me. And I now Oddly need... enough, I actually don't have either of the Valkyrie Profile games, but I know about them. I do want to play one, at least, because I've heard all kinds of good crap about it. Uh, I've played Star Ocean, whatever that counts, but, yeah. Freya? I have till the end of time. Oh, God, Freya. Whatever you do, don't don't self-impose challenge in Star Ocean 3. Don't do it. Don't be like me. Don't waste your life on that. Yeah, but it's till the end of time, Star Ocean number 3? Yes, sir. It's three. Yeah, uh, and, and, okay, and, yeah. And, they, and they had as the uh, as one of the nastier bonus bosses a chibi-fied Lenneth Valkyrie. And she's not she's nothing compared to Freya. She uh, she wow. just is not Freya. She's not Freya. She's not even close. Hmm. Let's see. If, uh, Lenneth has seven million HP. Freya twenty on normal difficulty. Seven wow. to twenty. Not to mention. Uh, Nibelung Velesti covers half the battlefield if she's lucky. Uh, Ether Strike, good luck getting the hell out of that. You better be in one corner, she better be in the other. Fair enough. And she doesn't give you a lot of time to run, so you better already be at the corner when she starts. This is why you play a long-range character. Or you better be really good at interrupting. Like something. And of course, this wasn't enough for me. No, no, I need to get more bang for my buck. Hardest difficulty, add an accessory to make bosses double their health, Dear God in heaven, three and a half hours. And that was the successful fight against her. That's not counting the fail. Because I was an idiot and decided I wasn't getting enough challenge. I wanted to make it worse on myself. Okay. Is it recording? Do I, do I hate myself? Yes, it's recording. Tell me. Okay. Oh, no, we're back. <laughs> yep. We're back, and I asked the age-old question, why do I hate myself? Okay. Because... <laughs> I'm going to post, I'm going to pause a challenge to you guys. Okay. There is a Toho character adultified on this picture. Look only at the right side of the screen and try to figure out who it is. On oh, the right side? Oh dear, I hope I don't have to scroll to the right side. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Firefox. Okay, come on. Perfect. I'm quite literally putting my right hand on the left GM, side. GM, I have an unfair advantage. Uh, yeah, I think you've seen it before, Tom. Yeah, I, I'm just going to opt out because I have an unfair advantage. I love that picture so much. I have memorized who it I, is. I've seen this and I don't remember, actually. I think, I think I've think i seen this and I just don't remember. Um, is the green hair supposed to be a clue? <laughs> uh, no, that's supposed to be blue hair. Oh, it's, oh, okay. it's just got green overshine. Okay, yeah, that's that's not Yuka or Sine. Okay, I didn't yeah, think it's that. just I it's just sure. a green highlight, really. Really, I'm serious. It's just a green hill highlight. You you sound like the fisherman. Fish. I'm just gonna take a random <laughs> guess at this because uh, I know very little, if anything, to Toho. Only one that comes to my mind, Cyrano. Very good, Eisen. Very good. Wow. Wait, I was actually right. Yes. Yeah. This is why look, I opted out of the thing, because I know it's her. Yeah, I see the text. There's a nine, there's nine, there's a nine bulge uh, drape on the couch, and then there's a scarf with snowman on it. In fact, and she has a sash with a snowflake motif. You also forgot the fact that she wears, uh, that she's wearing hair adornments that are snowflakes. Whee! I'm jumping over gaps. I'm jumping, I'm jumping, I'm jumping. <laughs> Hello, I'm the Nostalgic Balls, and I remembered so you don't have to. Great, I made eyeballs sound like Sir Ron Ryan. That and also, I have to admit, the uh, that particular adult version of Cyrano, I oh, I don't know why. Don't, it's just don't, so don't, beautiful don't, and don't, 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 amazing. Don't, don't. And what? Trapcom! Okay, it has <laughs> absolutely nothing to this, but I think this picture, well... What just happened? I say... <sighs> It just tells me how I answer that. What just happened? Do you remember in X2 where they introduced the the, the, the closing in walls? Yeah, I remember that. I've had a long-standing vendetta with those things since then, and they just threw one at me. I don't know how I made it. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask you how you dealt with the closing walls in uh, X4. Uh, What stage was that? Crap, I don't remember. The intro stage, closing walls. Okay, guys. Oh, oh the, the first time it threw me off and I Here's another know. challenge for you. After that, I just blazed the right um, The setting is Ante in uh, the Bamboo Forest of the Lost, 
There is a nameless yokai hiding in the bamboo. See if you can find them. Oh no, it's 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 a knee high wall and zero can't jump over it. Invisible barrier. What what a video game for the Shay. Oh and sure he can make that huge jump in a cutscene. You can't do that, but um, it's just a game can make zero do that. Storyline game. Nameless yokai? Well, it's just a face in the bamboo. You've just got to find it. In the bamboo? Oh, like, or in, yeah, like, in the, bamboo. the shadow of the bamboo? Um, uh, oh, God, I think I see it. Aizen? Aizen, that was great. Just, just by the way, that was great. Okay, so what is... Because uh, the thing that I'm seeing kind of makes me think of... Uh, Tay, when she, um, yeah, looks evil and mischievous. Yeah, that could possibly... I think that's a, ri a bow, a ribbon bow, but that could easily be ears. Yeah, two of those fireflies in that picture are fireflies. They're glowy eyes of doom. Yeah. So, uh, hi, Zero. I thought you were dead. Oh, wait, I skipped X6. <laughs> Yay! Incident. What the hell are you talking about, Blondie? Oh, here it comes. Uh, in, in response to that picture, GM. That's you. Fuck you. <laughs> I had to watch your X4 video game, and that's the first thing I thought. God damn that, that sound bite. Oh, Jesus. It literally oh, does Jesus. sound You didn't like even give me a chance you. to dodge that. That's, that's bullshit. Oh, God, it's Dark Scorpion from X7. Run! It's and yeah, from X7. as in, remember the, uh, remember the whole... Let's bullshit thing with oh, X4. God. Oh, yes. Hour yes, and, yes, hour yes, and 50 yes, minutes? Yes, 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 I relinked it back to Bo when he started doing his X, uh, his X4 playthrough. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God, you're kidding me. Capcom? Where, uh -huh. What are they doing now? I, oh, okay, the uh, kind of the weird anger running away from the guard scorpion ripoff. Um, I was too close to the front of the camera, and I didn't see a pit until it was too late. It happens. It kicked me back to the title screen. Yep. yep. Kicked me back to the motherfucking title screen. Are you serious, Capcom? Yep. They are. Okay, there's a Miku picture for you. So I can start all over again. I want to be a hero. <laughs> what is Miku even... No? What? What? A little bit of a mistake. <laughs> what? Oh my god, it's an animated gif. Oops. <laughs> and this is why the paparazzi are evil. <laughs> Wait, is she laughing at all, or is she actually upset? Ah, uh, she seems to be laughing off. Yeah. I guess whoever, whoever took the picture, she's okay with. All I can think of is it's probably Len. Okay, and for some reason... That uh, no, I doubt that's Len, because quite frankly, if it was Len, Rin, as she's depicted by 90% of the Miku Miku dance community would probably have killed him. And, and yes, Mercy I'm not even like kidding. The, the proclivity of Rin being an evil brat to Len and everyone else in Nika Nika Dance drama videos on Nika Nika Doga is just... Is 99% per, chance. I mean, it's just ridiculous, it's stupid, it's overdone. It it, ru it it demonizes Rin as a character. It wastes her potential. And yeah, I'm flipping sick of it. And it's what people will enjoy, though, because they seem to love that sort of drama. Oh, they think... The people who are part of the fandom so, seem to, to use, enjoy that uh, drama. To use a trope, they're all for the lulziness of double standard ab abuse, uh, double standard abuse uh, female on male. Yeah. Or as it was originally uh, known, abuse is okay when it's female on male, which it's not. We're slowly getting society to accept that female abuse to guys is wrong. 
It's called the double standard. Slowly. The double standards suck. Isn't that universal? <laughs> Pretty much, they, yeah. They, they always suck, yes. It, it's yes. just, we're, it's just society, yeah. That's all I will say. It's just society being society. Eh. I have a stupid question, since uh, I would think at least one of you is more experienced in this game than I am. Um. Is uh, Axel, like, invincible or something when he's transformed? Um. Oh, no. He doesn't seem no, to he's not. He no, no, no. Maybe he a couple, takes damage. A couple, of his, a couple of his forms in X8 are invincible, yes. Um, but as far as I know, in X7, no. Okay, it's just he just doesn't react to damage or something. Because like, I swear I've been hit, and sometimes you don't react because the character models don't react. They don't have damage frames. Lazy motherfuckers! I'm yep. sorry, but you can be damaged. They just don't show damage frames. Uh, he's no, um, I believe the point of that is he's cloaking himself and not be not look damaged. Yes, GM, you were, you were gonna say. I hope you like buns because this is the most detailed. Tewi pick on Demburu, at least that I've found thus far. My, my, oh, just one other thing. Though. If he doesn't have damage frames, does that mean he, uh, he also doesn't die in that form? He just kind of vanishes or something? <laughs> or does he transform back to die? I can like that. I've, I've never seen anything like that, so I would not know. Oh, okay. I'm just curious. I mean, morbidly, but, you know. Be, be but yeah, nice. super detailed Tewi. Super detailed yep. Tewi. Okay, why is one of the tags heart-shaped pupils? I don't see it. Oh, because they're little bitty tiny things. Okay, I thought I was confusing the pupils for something like that. Really hard to see. Gaming Uh, Yeah, an adventure and several long trips. Uh, make some new friends, maybe get a bite to eat. Going on an adventure. Does she have Several a Several long trips. Make some new friends and maybe get uh, by. Yeah, Flandry doesn't need a map. If she if she runs into an obstacle, she can just blow it up. Although I have to. With Don Maku. As far as that. Oh no no not even not even Don Maku. Just do her uh, power of destruction. Uh, yeah. She could do that. Yeah, just basically go. Phew! Boom. So speaking of that reference uh, that I made a minute ago, Eisen, I have to admit something. I'm sure you'll get this anyway since you, uh, I don't know if I've said it before or not. Though. You remember, do you remember that strong made email that, oh, uh, where it's talking about the kids show and they had the theme song, I have an adventure and several long trips. You remember that? Uh, the theme, it, I, I recall the theme, exactly yeah. what the theme was, no. Okay, because uh, it was talking about the kids show and uh, I'm sorry, was the, was the star. Yeah. Well, what do you know, Caddy Mint? That. Yeah, I, time, like I said, I, I know what you're talking about. I just don't remember okay, how the theme. Just the first time I heard, I heard, I watched that episode. Uh, no, the episode, the, whatever. <laughs> that email. Uh, uh, it, it, have an adventure and several long trips. I was expecting them to say, "Well, make some new friends and maybe pick up some chicks." It was like didn't rhyme, but what I thought they were going to say would rhyme. So I'm like. Um, this is supposed to be safe. Why would they go this? What the? F this was an innocent email show. What happened? And then they didn't. I'm like, I'm confused now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, now, kids. We're going to go find ourselves a cheat. Can you say a cheat? That's it. Let's see. Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Not good enough. F minus. <laughs> All right, now, dumb children. <laughs> find the cheat. <laughs> Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't... Why don't the guys... No, no, he's, he's, he's standing next to the lock. In fact, he's not even next to the lock. He's behind the lock. He's, be he's behind the freaking lock! I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Stop. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Damn it. I'm not used to these damn controls, motherfucker. <laughs> I've, I've been playing the GameCube version of NMX Collection. What do you want from me? Those controls are <laughs> they're not good. Dash is terrible. Well, since it's X7, it just wants your soul. Yeah, just your soul, nothing X more. Who might want the bottom of my shoes or something? Wear shoes! You idiot, it was your soul! Anyway. 
Why do I have to R2 to change targets? That's annoying. Why do we have to have targeting to begin with? Why do we need 3D sections to begin with? Wine, wine, wine. Anyway. <laughs> Um, but it's not fair. Yeah, it's not fair. Oh, don't wine glasses. So sorry. I still like that movie. I'm sorry, I do. I know Disney tends to make crappy sequels, but I just like that movie. At least it's not as bad as the sequel that came after that one. That was just pure awful. Uh, Bell's Magical World or something? Yeah. Hollow's Magical Moving Castle? I didn't think no, it was Magical Castle. I thought it was Castle. Or Howling Castle. What the fuck? Oh, I actually <laughs> found this uh, the what? other day. <laughs> Wait, what's Didn't this? I show you this yesterday? Uh, might have been you, yeah. If this yeah. is modern wear, I think traditional looks better. <laughs> anyway. Kanako in modern, modern wear. Not bad. I actually really like that. Uh, Kanako is modern life? <laughs> anyway. I don't know where that came from, I apologize. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know actually, if you look at Rocco's Modern Life and you compare it to some of the shenanigans at the Moya Shrine, it could fit. That's kind of scary. It was just a one-off reference. I didn't actually see that much of that show. And I, I've, I've seen so, so many episodes of Rocco's Modern Life. Uh, you, you guys wouldn't even believe how crazy it is that I understand some of that stuff actually appealing to real life. Yeah. Maybe it wouldn't surprise me too much, considering my former roommate was big into uh, uh, Angry Beavers, so. Mm hmm Which I thought was pretty funny when I'd seen it anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, you, uh, Finnish, you showed me the picture yesterday or something, didn't you? Yes, most likely. I knew it. I'm, I'm just familiar, yeah. re-showing it again because, hey, pictures. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I haven't seen it. And I believe I had an, I had an amusing comment for it, but uh, I'll, I'll spare the YouTubers that. Anyway. <laughs> I could just read the comment. They're all lined up like a like pretty little course line. Oh, reference. Anyway. <laughs> but it's not right to pick uh, all of them. You, uh, you Pick one. Don't be greedy. Anyway. I, I'm sorry. Was I saying something? Happy Valley. Well, if it makes you happy, Brent, you're not suffering alone. While, while you're playing that, I'm playing Hot Shots Golf, and I suck at golf. Yay! You should be playing Mario Tennis. That's a good sports game simulation thingy. Mario, Mario Tennis! tennis. Woohoo! I but missed then that at game. that point, he, we would need to make an open game tournament of the thing. I miss Mar uh, <laughs> Mario Tennis 64. I only got to rent that once. Okay, en enough of the intro. You can start the game now. But it's why the week's time! Start! Start, you motherfucker! Start, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but it's Waluigi time! It's like the worst game ever? <laughs> okay, okay, you can start. Well, oh, hey, it could wait, be wait, worse. Wait, wait, hey, guys. And then everyone died. Yes, Jim. It could be worse. It could be Psycho Waluigi. Hmm. What? Uh, fan game, Psycho Waluigi. I believe Raukow played it. Really? He doesn't I may have to look into that. Because I love I love how Raukow does his commentary. But, okay, that that was disgustingly yeah. effective. Um, what was? Wow, zero deflecting shots. This time it actually worked, and it just annihilated that son of a bitch. One <laughs> yeah. shot, it blew up. The one time it was cooperative, and it worked well. That's yeah. incredible. It, it, it's how zero works in X7. He either is ridiculously bad when you try to use his stuff, or you hit with it, it works. And it just annihilates. So he fluctuates between bad and badass. He's getting it wrong. Yes. It's either bad or bad plus ass. It's, it's ass bad instead of ass. <laughs> ass. Ass bad words. Oh my god, the hit detection is, is kind of bad. I'm facing away from this V and hitting him. I know he's supposed to go in a circle, but that still shouldn't be working because there's not, Overhead enough, swipe. There's not enough hit behind it. Overhead swipe. No, no, it's, it's the spinny, a spinny one. It's not overhead. It's just the fact that behind him he doesn't draw the blade enough for it to look like it should be hitting. So it was bad hit detection or bad animation. That's just bad the way. both. You should have to face your target to hit them. Isn't that basic? It's bad both. Oh god, the responding walking things from X1. Can you stop it? Stop it. Oh yeah, I was talking about the aerial slash. My bad. Pause, dude. They're balls on legs. Wait, old I was going to say, what, what was this about? 
The, I, I, I hate to disagree with you, GM, but they're not ass. old to me. They're just the right age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this 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 next, no, this next one's funny. Um. So this is the annihilation of Monsteropolis. She didn't give a shit about Airman. <laughs> Oh, they're Sorry. trying to they're, they're trying to fire at uh, Flandry, and it's not <laughs> working. There's only yeah. one thing actually going at her, and she's just like, "You actually think this is gonna hit me?" <laughs> and excuse me, I was trying to pause, and it ignored me and g- gave a cheap shot. On Zero's defenses, this is a bad idea. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. time out. I was standing underneath it and not getting hit. Terrible hit detection. I'm sorry, but that's <laughs> bad. I mean, I know those things on uh, those. Uh, I don't know enemy names. Damn it, I'm a Mega Man fan. I don't know enemy names. All I know is it's, it's that orb with the two long legs that walks on slowly. In Mega Man X, you couldn't walk under those. Why can you walk under them here? What is the deal? I am walking under it untouched. What, that's it. Okay, unless it's facing me. If it's not facing me, I can walk under it. What? Walk under it clean if it's not facing me, but if it is, a, a inconsistent hit detection. Come on, Capcom! You were better than this once. What did you do? Mm-hmm. Did you just throw away all your values and just turn it into greed? Considering what they're turning all their franchises into, whether existing or not anymore, yeah. Unfortunately, Capcom sold greed, and they sold out all their values just to make a quick buck. Mm-hmm. And they're going to go into the tra- into the crapper for that. Why am I now tempted to actually go take a look at Guild Wars 2 while I'm while we're here? <laughs> okay, guys, I have an interesting one for you. The Yokai Mountain what? Tengu Village. What forced me to drop? The Tengu Village? Ooh. Yes. Again, some, some of these scenery picks I may be using for reference for an idea for what they will be describing, GM. Uh, okay. Yes, but then, um, okay. In that case, later on, I will dump all of my all of my uh, favorites on you that have the tag Toho and scenery. Just <laughs> give me a link to the collection. Yeah. Uh, and later I'll on, it. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I have to filter them, but uh, later on, I'll uh, drop yeah. a whole, uh, lot on you. I'll let you filter them. Don't worry. I, I'm patient. And, yeah, I can and wait for a while on it. You can find all three named Tengu lurking about in the picture. Oh, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. I believe Momiji's in the uh, front, most. Yeah. She's pretty obvious. The other two aren't. I was in the truth. I have to make another observation here. Like she usually is. Um, there's a third tango? Hatate. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I do hate interrupt, I keep guys, forgetting about but, um... Ah, uh, Yabo? I have to make another observation about X7, considering I remember... Uh, I watched mm-hmm. Late the Rise, and I swear, but I'm not remembering much. It's all blanking out now. You well, can't... I, I, I doubt, even if you did understand everything I did in my Let's Play, it, it would still not help. It, you can't double mm-hmm. jump if you dash jump? What? That's been the yes. case... That's been the case since, um, X2, when you had the super chips... Or was it X3 yeah. when you had the super chips? Actually, X4, you can't, couldn't double jump either. I don't remember running into this in X4. And, and I know, and because I, I, you never tried double jumping after dashing. Why would I not need to, though? When would I ever not need to? This is very odd to me. How could I have missed this considering I've played through X4 twice as zero and suffered through all that? Probably because there is no usual need to do that. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Besides, what's the logic in it? How does dashing disable a second jump? I'm baffled by this. E- even if it's not new to X7, how did it get how did it pass to begin with? I'm confused. Someone's not sure if that's lagoon or beach. Um, that's actually specifically a <laughs> lagoon. Did you knock me into the pit, you little shit. GM. Ah. Hmm. It's a it's specifically a lagoon because it's a, an enclosure. Oh, Around the lake. And a lagoon doesn't have to be a specific size to actually be around a lake. Hmm. 
It's just basically, basically a lagoon is a an enclosure of forest around a lake. I thought a lagoon was a guy that gets leg cramp and pretty girls anywhere near him. That too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Cloud of darkness, what the hell happened in their du- duo deaths of you? <laughs> that was the yeah. best scene ever. Oh, hell. Oh, hell, Capcom. What are they asking you to do now? I fell off the closing walls. I couldn't get back up there. Now I'm trapped under the closed wall. It's Wait, not really? coming back up. Um, what am I supposed to do? Wait, I didn't for, mean to fall, up again? but now I can't get in there because it's closed. Can you slash it? I... Tried to, but it didn't do anything. Oh, it, okay. You have to you have to walk all the way away to get it to reset. Yeah. Nice. Of course, of course. That's what would that's what Capcom would that's, do. That's just perfectly logical. Yeah. Away. It's what Capcom would do. They'd make you go off screen, then go back on screen. They make you walk away from light. <laughs> Reference anyway. I'm not even really sure which one that should be a reference to, but I know that we need a Bud Light now. It's a reference to a mega song, so don't worry. Thanks to them, I have this damn game. Man, those last five pages had a crap ton of good stuff. And funnily enough, it's not even fan service stuff. It's mostly scenery. Ooh. Isn't there a term for that? Scenery porn or something? Yeah, uh, yeah. actually there's an entire pool called scenery porn on Dan Burr. I'm actually a And most scenery. of these pictures that I'm about to post are on it. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 a, I'm a bit of a sucker for scenery porn. <laughs> I'm not going to bother removing the uh, tags and shortening the... Uh... So, yeah, here you go. Oh, God! And again, the scorpion gets the cheap shot on me! <sighs> Capcom's not letting me get out of that! That's not your fair. eyes on what I consider to be some of the best. Is that a boy? I mean, Capcom! Why did I say so, Patchley's library is not walled in. Uh, that's not specifically a Toho library. That's just a random library. Really? Um, Boy Light is established as being very enclosed, very dark, very moody, and the only thing in there is books and dust. So, sort of like the outdoor library thing that we just saw, but walled in and filled with chandelier. Yeah, uh, basically that uh, that open area, that reading area picture that I uh, showed earlier, I'm guessing Patchley probably has her own private balcony that she, uh, or... She uh, goes to. Yeah. Well, and she this also one, moved the mansion, so... Yeah, yeah uh, that's, ba- that's that's essentially what most people consider how they got to Gensokyo in the first place. Patchley was the one that moved the Scarlet Devil Mansion out of, most people speculate, France, because Remy and Flandry's names are French. Ish. I'm and that would also that would also be a good explanation for the humongous the the physical the uh, physical toll of using that much ma- using that much energy to move such a large mansion, especially with Sakuya's creepy space time tesseract manipulations to it. Probably with yeah. Patchley's health problems. That using that much magic in one shot probably had a unforeseen. Effect effects on her body. Which she's probably studying, learning, and figuring out from. Mm. And anyway, this one has uh, got a double role. It's, it's epic scenery, but it also tells an interesting tale. Uh, I want check to, the comments and you'll see. I, I had wanted to give my own uh, reaction to the whole library thing. Sorry, I don't think I'm it, since it made me think something else entirely. Oh. It gives me a vibe of if the Chozo on Talon had a library, it would have looked like that. That's prob- that's that's a good point. That's a really good point. I mean, they're all like embracing nature, same with technology. There you go. There's your library. Trees and sunlight, all natural. Yeah, with the books protected from uh, from the elements by energy cages, probably. Pretty much, yeah. So that'd be a fitting library for them. I love how someone said, makes me think of Aeon, and I immediately went, no... Dumb comment. Why are we bringing Final Fantasy X into this? Um, <laughs> A-I-O-N. I'm, I'm being it's actually joke. pronounced Ion. Ion. I, I, thank thank yeah. you. I was actually going to say, wasn't it Ion instead? Yeah, it's really yes, weird. Yes, it's Ion America. 
Yeah, and uh, mm. more the the comment that really strikes me is from uh, I'm not gonna bother saying his name. But my first impression was, why does God hate pterodactyls? <laughs> and I took, I took a closer look. Closer look. Yeah, I did too. I saw that coming. I was like, yeah, I kind of was like pterodactyls. What? It? Pause. Oh wait, that doesn't look like pterodactyl. <laughs> that son of a bitch shot me during a cutscene. Capcom. Shot me during a cutscene. That's a cheap boss right there. Now, uh, this next wow, picture. This next picture has a cute kitty in it. Cute kitty. But that's 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 only a corner piece of the uh, picture. Well, you got to balance it off. Balance off the rest of the picture with something. So, cat. Cat. Dog. Watch, no, nobody notices anything but the bottom right corner because that's all that matters. <laughs> that's, that's, that's... And some nice ruins. Oh, and now we've, we have uh, stumbled onto Toho scenery. Yeah, because that's definitely a Toho scenery. Well, no, not that one. Not that one. That one's ruins. That's generic ruins. The one I'm oh, it's about generic to... ruins? Yeah. Because it looks very Toho-esque to me, especially with the little shrine in the, in the right corner. Yeah, that's that's a generic uh, picture. I'm talking about the picture I'm about to uh, give you. Well, this Next calls one. for a double reference. Ruins. All of a sudden, Toho has... Ooh, Toho. hey. Notori's little private pad. You saw the interior. Here's the exterior. Awesome. Now I know exactly also, how to describe uh, uh, Notori's house. And she apparently forgot something. Or at least felt uh, confident that it was safe enough to then. not to bother with it. I have yep. to think about the first runes, though. I have to make a double reference. Better yet, she's not even wearing the hat, either. <laughs> the ever-present hat is actually not on her head. Yeah, and... You might actually even see the moisture pan on her head. If that's the moisture pan, that could very well just be the hat. It could. Uh, again, it's too far out for the detail to tell. That's <laughs> why, even even though it's in the casual nudity pool, the rating on it is actually... Well, oh, it got changed to questionable. How about that? Yep. It used to be safe. <laughs> yep. I noticed that, too. And that was it. Now we're going back into generic. Because... I, I, I know I know it's late. Yay. But, damn it, I still want to make my, what I was going to say before about the first Ruins picture. I yeah. wait patiently. My patience ends now. No. <laughs> uh, double reference. Uh, ruins. Now it's 20% more Chozo influence. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah actually. I just be... made that reference. Yeah, yeah, this is generic scenery, a kind of little shanty town. And I believe this next one was by the same artist. Let me double check that. Yeah, same artist. Uh, yeah, his name is at the front. Uh huh. On both of the pics. So yes. Yeah. Well, I had. And to actually, better yet, that looks like a house straight out of the same side view of what you were looking at before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that was that was bad. Yeah, it okay. does. It looks like the one on the right. Uh, it looks like the house on the right, just a different time of day. Oh God. <sighs> Capcom and Sirnone. Even though you can't really see her amidst the giant you aurora of gotta lights. be Capcom. What happened to the rule of if you die at a boss, you come back right before the boss? What whatever happened to that? I know it's the intro, but god damn it! Giant I'm beam of light. God damn it! And more generic scenery. Someone. The, this particular location is completely iced over. The light Ooh. I love the ice cold in this pic. I was going to say, if it wasn't for the white hair, wasn't that Lahar in that picture just before it, the recent one? No, <laughs> that's Sierno. That's Sierno. I, 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 yeah. I, I know it. It's Shit. A name I, zone, it I can't does kind of look like a Disgaea thing, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's right. No, if it wasn't such a wisp of the cold, that that ice picture would be beautiful. Ooh, I like that little uh, stone house around a tree idea on the right there. Well, of course, it's the next level of tree house. That's the that's the next leap in technology. 
treehouse they uh, built out of stone. Treehouse to stone. It? Yeah. <laughs> upgrading from wood to stone. Oh, why do I have to go back to this stupid? Stone? Well, upgrading from wood to stone on the tree of the treehouse. Absolutely. This this last one here. This this ne- this next one is pretty surreal. Do we have to go through this cutscene again just because I died, Capcom? Come on. Besides, I, that that boss was not my fault. I had no. That's help the sky. My God, to him. Yeah, that's the sky and uh, reflection. The heck? What, how was it reflecting down below? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> is that? Is that a lake or what? I have no idea. <laughs> That's what makes it so awesome. So one question is salt plant? He's invincible. Of course he is. Uh, I'm not sure either. Why the hell wouldn't you make a boss invincible when you're chasing this stupid thing? <laughs> yeah, this Don't next picture, the comments are kind of amusing. Don't it holds a remark on that one picture with the we're not even sure how. That's a perfect remark. A princess, a priest, and a ninja. Sounds like a typical anime plot, sure. Except the ninja's not Naruto. Ah! <laughs> princess? That's a... That's a... Jump Shinto <laughs> shrine priestess, actually. Born yeah, Shinto yeah. It's not a good ninja. Priestess, a priest, and apparently a ninja. Yeah, an actual... Real ninja, I'll say that much. It, it, he even actually he makes me think of Bang Shishigami, even though Bang is totally uh, not a good ninja. Yeah, even though he's not a real ninja. And this picture here, it was actually I remember I remember seeing it on the Google Chrome App Store as a free uh, browser theme, but when I looked for it again recently, it was gone. But it's a really beautiful picture. Capcom, oh. what's the point of going through the di- skipping through the dialogue if the guy That's a great shut one. up? <sighs> I'm sorry. Now this next picture actually reminds me strongly of one of and, the images in Mist Three. And someone mentions that it connects to two other posts. Yeah, to make a bigger well, that, picture. That's the last one. This next one that I just posted it reminds me strongly of the age of Diana from Miss Three Exile. And I'm probably the only one in here who's played Mist, so that's just gonna go over, over everyone's heads. As in, like the exploration game Mist. Yes, the third game had a uh, had one age where the entire action took place in, on the inside of a hollow tree. Yeah, this actually looks very familiar to that kind of tree. Oh, I've seen the, the, I've seen the pictures. Th- I've seen the pictures and screens of stuff, of a game. Ah, I haven't actually played yeah. this, this, this reminds me strongly of Adana. Yeah, it does. It looks very close to it. If not, like, almost, almost a copy of it. Eisen? Yeah. I'd say an indirect yeah. copy. How did you make yourself play this game? I have no idea. All right, here we go. I'm just stupid when when I'm facing one direction and I go to swing and Zero magically turns himself around when I'm not touching the damn control stick. He turned himself around. It happens. Idiot. Mm -hmm. Swing the way I tell you to, you little bitch. I'm sorry. Yeah, this next one is pretty awesome. A mountain kingdom in the clouds. The one that I'm currently viewing right now that you just posted? The very last one. Yeah, um, wow. It kind of makes me think of Magic the Gathering. Wait, wait I don't have enough. to deflect this particular and person? once again, we have some Toho, a simple daytime shot of Ante. <laughs> so I always thought of Ante as that sort of giant mansion just like calmly sitting in, the, in a bamboo forest. It, 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 this just reinforces that thought even further. And back to continuing that trend... Cockroach Shrine. Hey, Bo. Also devoid of people. In Bo, this picture. Oh, I have Bo. a suggestion. Bo, I have a suggestion for you. Hmm? Rage. Rising. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Look at some of the pictures. Look at you know, some of the pictures, please. But, Dude, you will relax now. when you see some of these pictures. This, this is a different thing now. The, I thought the gimmick here was you had to deflect the bullets to hurt the scorpion because uh, it's a new thing, and I assumed that's why you were shooting in the first place. No, you can just swipe him normally. Yeah. 
But the but bullets yeah, cause more can't damage. Can't you tell us these things? Can't you tell us these things? Is it so hard? I, I know there are tutorials now to go overboard, but say Ooh. something at least. Yeah, yeah that, I always thought Hakurei Shrine looked a little bit more... Uh, it looked a little bit less red roofy. Uh, well, the, the the cardinal color of the shrine is red, so yeah, yeah. be red. He's he's against the wall, but he wasn't hurting me. What the fuck, Capcom? Get! Ugh. Corner rape, corner rape, corner rape. Yeah, I have pick here. Not sure wait, where wait, she's sitting. Wait, 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 wait. I wasn't damaging him. His tail has a separate health meter that's invisible. Oh yeah. That was another thing I can I tell where she's sitting. Where she's sitting. Where? I was like, why is this meter not going down? Now I understand. That's A and Uh, well, the location isn't specified. Where location is isn't right? specified, but the uh, that's the same pagoda out of Gensokyo, right? Because there's only that one that's mm -hmm. like that. How do I? Yeah. Son of a. <clears throat> and Eki and Kamashi out on a pier on the job or just chill. <laughs> Be the judge. There are butterflies about. There are butterflies about. Actually, which may even hint that uh, Yuko is trying to talk to them. I can't hit him, Capcom. Where is this? Now this box? next one for the scorpion. <laughs> Oof. I can't do that. It was damaging him at some points, but other points it was like, no, it's not doing anything. And of course he has no health left, I die. So back to the beginning of the day, so? fucking go, god damn it! Okay, Bo, do yourself a favor. Take the disc out of your PS2. Put one hand on either end of the disc, and crush your hands together until the disc snaps in half. <laughs> but I can't ruin the autograph. <laughs> They autographed the cover, the, uh, the uh, instructions booklet, and the disc. So now I have a reason that I can't break the disc. Wait, 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 what? That's the only reason I have this game. Uh, this fan band that I like, uh, the they uh, did this Kickstarter project. And one of the uh, uh, perks, or whatever the hell it was, was an autographed copy of Mega Man X7. I had money at the time. I was like, well, X7 is supposed to be so horrible. Eh, an autograph will make it worth it. Yep. Did it make it worth it, Bo? Did it really? Little boy that I am. I should have saved that money for, for their <laughs> freaking album. Uh, I still yeah. have. That, we oh. admit to being man child, Bo? Bo? Yes? My advice? Put the disc back in its case. And forget find something, just find, it, something, forget. Uh, find something that you'll wrap it up in, take some pictures of it, and post that little SOB of a game on eBay. Someone will buy it for the autographs alone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. Oh, yes, YouTube audience, this was my great idea for a birthday column. Play this. Yay! Playing X7. Anyway, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this next picture really strongly reminds me of, like, parts of the Forbidden Land and Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, better than Shadow of the Beast, I guess. Yeah, it does kind of remind me, make me think of Shadow of the Colossus. Or Australia. Screw Australia. Wait, what's wrong with Australia? Nothing wrong with it's Australia. Australia. Nothing the wrong with Australia. The entire place my, will my, try to kill you if my, you try my, to live my, there, though. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I think it, it's mainly because, not because of Australia, period, but someone we know from Australia. What? Or that could be me. I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. I got. I didn't take the crocodile hunter. I have nothing against the people of, of Australia. They're awesome. Yeah. My problem is with the wildlife of Australia. And yeah. I, recently, I recently learned that even the normally passive koalas, if they decide they don't like you, will leap on your back and either bite out your, one of your arteries or your spinal cord. Yeah. Koalas are vicious. Oh. I, I thought you were talking about. Oh, 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 oh. Let's not go into that. Let's never go yeah. into that again. Which is why I yeah. specifically typed it out. Never mentioned it. Mm. Mm. Yes, uh, but my problem is with the wildlife. Even the koala. Uh, a friend of mine actually summed yeah. up Australia in... Uh, 
three were uh, technically four words that just sums up the wildlife of Australia. Deadly, ven- venomous, deadly, venomous, carnivorous, or both. I can sum it up in just as many four words, GM. Damn it, GM. Yeah, I, will I, I, I you. should have known that's what you were going with. Damn. What? <laughs> thur, 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 obvious in retrospect. I'm not going to say yeah, it in the video, uh, but thur, thur, thur. Tom, you were going to say, what, 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 what were your four words? About Australia? Yeah. It will fuck you. Oh. Sorry, yeah, I would add up. <laughs> I would add up. No, no, no. I would add me up because specifically there are things oh, no, that will try to rape you. Wait, what? Exclude the snakes. Um, never mind. <laughs> I mean, because, I mean, I, I'm just going to get off this right now because there is that whole thing. I mean, uh, again, no problem with the people of Australia. They're awesome. They're wildlife, though. I don't know how they live there. They've got at least half the poisonous snakes on the planet. They've got a uh, wild species of dog that is that is effectively half that is effectively like half uh, feral. The <laughs> dingo. Some 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 groups of dingoes are nice. Some are not. And some make you baby. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> they've got po- yeah they've got these giant poisonous toads that were imported to deal with with uh, locusts. And basically kill anything that eats them, and then they've got this really, really wonderful tarantula called the Sydney funnel web. It is the oh most yeah the funnel, funnel, funnel web. Yeah, the Sydney funnel web, the most aggressive spider on the face of the earth. Yeah, most it will spiders, actually go after humans. Yeah, most spider m- most spiders will hit you once and then try to run. The Sydney funnel web will chase you and bite you until you stop moving. Yep. No, wait, no, wait. You ask how how these people can survive there. This nation gave birth to Steve Irwin. Are you questioning their ability to raise people that can handle this shit? No, 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 no. We're not questioning that. It's just... Can you imagine what they originally did when the place was first founded? Yeah, when they they first first jumped off the shiploads of convicts. Well, they can imagine the hell they were put through (laughs) trying to settle Australia in the first place. Yeah. Well, and actually, as far as I remember, um, the Euro- the Europeans who sent that co- that group out to colonize it, they knew that Australia would likely kill them. They didn't want those people back. So, imagine their surprise when it's properly founded. <laughs> Backfire. Okay, okay. exactly. I have- I have run out of scenery for the for the most part, so now we are oh, back to true. mostly Toho. Okay, time out, Captain. The, uh, you pages you that you were going to? I am only to page 40 of last I checked was 81, and that's probably gone up. Oh, boy. I can't believe <laughs> Capcom has done that. Because you added a bunch of stuff from this. Capcom just ripped off of Zelda. Okay, Monogatari? Why is there a stage called the Lost Woods? Capcom! I'm sorry, anyway. The wait, what? Lost Woods. We're detecting energy from deep within the Lost Woods. Oh, God. Yeah, got I, I didn't even catch that when I played X7. Wah, wah, wah. I'm sorry, I'll be nice. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. I deserve a fail horn for that one. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Was that originally done on harmonica? I'm curious. It originally sounds. Like yeah, it is. That that particular that particular fail horn is actually supposed to be done on a harmonica. Because that, that was beautiful. That I was can do it so well that people yeah, that, have, harmonica. That, some, that some people who have done that for have one have uh, said I am indistinguishable from the harmonica. And yes, I did beat the boss. I I I just I hate Capcom though. Anyone who wants to do a zero only run just got screwed there. As soon as I switched to Axel, it was over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's a Komachi picture down at the bottom. The ship has spotted. Mm-hmm. Which, which just brings up my point. 
it's nice that they want to bring in a new character. But don't force but it. But in situations where it forces you to be the last resort, it's not the proper way to do so. It kind of isn't. But wait, if we store the ship... If I, go, if I suddenly go silent and I don't respond, that's me eating goldfish. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? I thought it'd be... Never mind. That's terrible. That, that's bad. I don't, I don't stoop to that kind of humor. Anyway. <clears throat> I can eat raw goldfish. I've had sushi before. That's not where I was going, trust me. Viruses escape through a crack in the electrosphere. But it's through... What's an electrosphere? Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, look. The cyber peacock wannabe. <laughs> yep. Use the right chaser. Yep. Oh, no. Right chaser stage. No. 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 Oh, no. Man. no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that one. Oh. 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 Ride chaser. Come. You always hate the ride, hate the ride chasers. And actually, by the way, that ride chaser that you have in the uh, X7 is basically an upgraded slash remake remodel of the one from X1 and X2. Jet Stingray, pain in the ass. It is there is whoever the hell it was in X5. Even warps, even though it was a short section, because you have to pick up those stupid little pickups just to get a If there's capsule. one good thing, if there's one good thing about the speed bike level, you just have to go through that, then you're right to the box. That's the only good thing about that level. But that's what Jet Stingray did. Now, I'm saying there's no two part. It's oh, it's not a two part one... sequence, it's one no. part. You just do that mm -hmm. one part, then you're at the boss. Only but yeah, um, there. Yeah, uh, uh, an interesting question attached what to this. What price would... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm guessing money is that which is good because most of us are liking that. Uh, Something more valuable, I suppose. Uh, okay. I'm tempted now, to make money. Incoming is Yukari being a huge troll. Destroy the time bomb in the circuit. Oh, no. The right paper stage is the one, Eisen, where you had to destroy the bombs, isn't it? You know, I just realized something here, GM, with this one. Hmm? Yeah. This looks... Th that reminds me of Ponyo. <laughs> oh, my God. That Yukari <laughs> pick reminds me of Ponyo. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are... are, are Link to a picture of, but um, um, I just did, my brain just did something so stupid, I have to laugh at myself now. <laughs> um, what? You, there, you gotta there, click this one, Bo. You gotta click they, this one at the bottom. It's, there, it's there, awesome. You, you know when the yeah. first come up and describes each stage to you? Yeah. I just read Lava Factory as Love Factory. Be sure you were playing Don't Eat the Mushroom. <laughs> what is love? <laughs> what, what is love? Is love is leave a lo lethal lava land. <laughs> it's 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 not the fact that I hearing what it's love. It's the Burger King I saw in the background. <laughs> and, that's really and now love that's factory. Really the love really energy factory now, suffers an attack app. recaptured from the enemy. Love yeah, I feel like going to go <laughs> cow, and I think I'll let Burger King on fire. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll let GM quote a row cow for me on this one with the lava 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 lava. Special defense has been taken. Use the air ride and retake it. Special defense. Okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll do the row cow quote because I know how it goes. Lava 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 lava. Oh man, someone yeah. speaks my language. Take back the central radio show. They just stole a, stole an event from Pokemon uh, GSC. Oh my God! It's a the radio tower. Zero, go save them. God. Wait a minute. Two, three, four. Five. Oh, man, I miscounted. For a second, I was like, for a second, I thought I saw nine Mavericks, and I was gonna be like, what the? I, I almost lost it. Battleship, oh, menacing fortress that commands the seas, destroy it to hold us in advance. Special spoiler alert, don't go for the water stage. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, the first time I played X5, years ago, and I only got to play five minutes, I went to Duff McWhalen stage. Big mistake. Duff McWhalen can burn in hell. Thank you, drive through. Now, wouldn't you believe that she could build that mech, that she built that mecha from nothing but soda cans? Someone mistyped. They put built, uh, they put build instead of built. Hmm. 
Why am I getting vibes of Skylar from this? <clears throat> anyway. Do, 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 I'm, I'm glad that that awkward do, 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 thing is not good to not get any response, because that would have been odd. Awesome. <laughs> there you go. There's a funny one for you. Well, I'm very certain she doesn't use the shout of unstoppable force. You know, Capcom, I know I was complaining a minute ago because you, you weren't talking to us. Um, do we really need instructions on how to navigate the stage select screen? No, but they did it you anyway. What's to do with the boss, but stage select, hell yeah, hold their hand. What? Excuse me while I bitch slap you morons. Anyway. No, not you. I mean, cap- slap. <laughs> what was that? Spit slap? Bitch slap. I thought I heard spit slap. <laughs> <laughs> spit <laughs> slap. What? Spits. Yeah, yeah. I um. Yeah, I spitted the question right into their face, and then I slapped them while they're confused. Do I really have to ask you two more times? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for catching that halfway reference. Um, did she forget to wear her pants or what? what? What's the deal with that first, with that, that second to last one? You know, when you ride into battle, it helps if you remember to wear your pants. I'm just going to say that now. That's supposed to be like a replica of one of those stupid fetishy, uh, tex- uh, retextures of armor. One of those retex- armor retexture mods. Yeah. Which I've seen one of those. They get really stupid. I mean, yeah. the armor, for the most part, in uh, Skyrim is re- very practical for females. But you, there are always the dirts who want to fetishize the female armor, and they do it very well. Mm-hmm. Speaking of saying stupid things, I'm going to resist the urge to say something stupid about this Marissa picture now. Because Why? if I did, I would be a hypocrite on the internet, and that is an unforgivable crime. Uh, what about Dabba? I confused you guys. Adult Marissa? Yes. I could make a very stupid comment about her, but I'm going to um, not... You mean like about how the dress poofs out? No, no. A little more vague than that. Oh. Oh, okay. Fine. Do I have to say it just just to satisfy your curiosity about... Not big enough boobs? Uh, We'll we'll tell you about it backstage. (laughs) I was going to say she could steal my precious thing any day. (laughs) Ha, ha, ha. See, I didn't want to uh, see. It was stupid. That's one. Of, that's one of those. Uh, I'm not sure I wanted to hear it, but at the same time, that was kind of silly and hilarious. At the same see? time, <laughs> it's, it's hypocritical because I talk shit about people who don't keep their mouths on the air about things we don't mean to hear about. I respect when you say. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, wouldn't that the, 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 the one you just like? Wouldn't that be a little uncomfortable? Shouldn't they have some breathing room, or am I just? just, just I don't know. I'm not a girl, so I wouldn't know, but it just seems like it would be a little uncomfortable if they're kind of first to like that. Oh, for, uh, baking? <sighs> yes. Um, Yamazanadu? Dark uh, yeah, that's actually her title. Uh, there's been a, there's a Yama. really sticky, uh, situ- a really sticky issue with, uh, Shiki Eki's actual name. Well, well, it's just that it makes me, it sort of reminds me of the NES game Vaxanadu, so I'm like, uh, Dark Vaxanadu? What? Vaxanadu went to the dark side. <laughs> oh, God, rescuing Reploids. Didn't I have enough of this in X5? Fearing I couldn't find any of them? Wait, that's not true. Although I found, there was one I found after I beat all the eight Mavericks, so I wanted to hit Capcom because it would have been a little more useful before then, the Virus Buster. Yeah. I didn't find that until I beat their 8 Mavericks. I didn't know that. I thought that was a bottomless pit. Excuse me for not going in there. And I still couldn't get the heart tank over there because I couldn't figure out how I was supposed to reach it without dying. Every time I oh, yeah. dash, dash or float over there, I'd come up short. But yeah, by the way, Bo, for rescuing the Reploids, or at least the, you work, the people that you should be rescuing. In X7, if they die, it's permanent. I, that, that I remember. But anyway, go ahead. No. It's not. I, you can go back into the stage and rescue anyone that you missed or died or, or they died. Or yep. Whatever. And actually, Does in the stage, you can X, still X, do X, that. X, no, X7. X, I've done this. Uh, I've managed to glitch the lava stage into respawning a guy who 
technically should have died five times over. So it's not not supposed to happen, but it can? Yeah, it's not supposed to respawn him, but it can. Capcom, you're just, you're, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Yeah. All I can say is, you lucky son of a bitch. I want to strangle you now. Again, it, it was also one of the few guys who I couldn't get to because of bad timing. Alright, you know what? I'm not completely done yet setting game over like I thought I was going to, so what the hell. Let's keep going. Go to Lava 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 Land. Hell no, after the Magma Dragoon embarrassment, I'm not picking the fire guy first. <laughs> Unless I can get a guaranteed clean man with lost the woods then, because you'll he get doesn't lost. want to burn to the ground. No, I do not. I, I will leave him for last just on principle. I don't care how much harder it makes my game. He goes last. If I even get that far. If I even bother to get that far. Yeah, hi, Anard. Choose your team. I want you to work in teams of teams. And here you go. Here is a nice little set of Reimu. Oh, wait, no. Miko, side boob. Set. Okay. One. Two. I forgot, I forgot her Sarashi today. Three. Uh, uh, uh. Three. Uh, uh, Sarashi actually goes underneath clothing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's what you meant. Okay. Because in the first one, she is wearing the Sarashi. Mm. She's just not wearing it as high as she should be. That's still a pretty hard time. Three. Four. Oh, yeah. yeah. Also sends Sarashi. This is progressively supposed to be showing more and more, isn't it? <laughs> it's like right. a flip book in reverse. I it almost is, yes. I, I don't even it, know. It's like, Rebu, why are you showing slightly more each time? <laughs> this is the, the wrongest I, kind I of actually, I've ever I seen. Actually, I actually did not intentionally do that. It's the wrong it turned out that way. I've and ever seen in my life. Work. Yeah. Good job, GM. Top score. <laughs> if I had to be the one to point it out, top score. <laughs> I am ruining my chance at a social life with every picture. And quite frankly, I have ceased to give a crap. Actually, I think it is. And then top score. Oh, oh yeah, um, Adam, a while, uh, Adam a while ago asked if you had a birthday request. Allow me to reassure you first, GM. None of us ever had a chance at social life, so we were born without a chance at it. We're, we're the nerds, and we stick together. This is our social life. But, yeah, Adam asked if you had a birthday request. Besides finish Link to the Past? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if there's any chance you reconsider uh, going back and starting Star Trek 2 again, since the, that was lost forever a day ago, but... Yeah, um... Chance of that? And now, especially now that I've played the original PS1 version of Star Wars 2, I get even more out of it. Mm. Huh. I love that. The love of God, pick opera! <laughs> anyway. Opera? But that's a bad browser. But she's an ex excellent, useful character in Star Wars 2 because she has the all-awesome the all -awesome healing star. 5,000 plus healing in a very short time. And very MP efficient. Who needs a white mage after that? Of course, her voice acting takes some time to get used to, but you know, other than that. Still don't know how she sounds in PSP original. I gotta find out. Uh, <laughs> why am I thinking uh, suddenly of Jurassic Park? That's when the attack comes, not from the front, but from the sides. From the others you didn't even know were there. Because okay, someone decided to distract you. <laughs> Hey, Alan, if you want to scare the kid, why don't you just draw a gun on him? <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> the internet has ruined Muldoon for me. The internet has ruined Muldoon for me. <laughs> really? Internet. Yes. That, that one phrase, Clever girl, has been ruined for you? 
Muldoon in general has been ruined for me. Well, you what see? about and what about Nigel see? Thornberry then? Who? Nigel Thornberry. I was not Thornberry. Wild Thornberries as a Nick. I never saw. It. I thought it was uh, kind of dumb. Never, never saw it. Sorry. <laughs> I watched it a lot as a kid. I just loved the thing. I don't know why. I think it was because they actually had a crossover with Rugrats. Now, see, Harry Potter that, I, that was, I, it was interesting. About this last picture, I, I have to say, Harry Potter would have been ten times better if this were the pictures of the anyway. <laughs> What's this about Harry Potter? Well, no, uh, Harry Potter. One of the things was that uh, to get to their uh, common room, where, where their rooms were or whatever, uh, there was a picture in the wing. I didn't realize they gave them password. If the pictures were like this instead of what they actually were, this would have been so much better. Yeah, Romelia having the having the have, being the picture that would be a little yeah. intimidating, even even for the little Slytherin guess, douchebag. Guess the answer wrong. Uh oh. Yeah, she comes out of the painting. Although I do love the comments for that particular picture. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, of course, bring it. <laughs> okay. His heart. <laughs> the uh, the comment by the first guy named Buwaro. Well, second guy. Now, what's the bet that if we turn away for a second and then look back, there is no one in the painting anymore? And then you t uh, turn away again. Surprise, Art. Familia. Surprise, Art. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, but <laughs> anyway. Oh God, no! I'm sorry. I hate. I hate Don't make me put that picture, picture on. No, it's please. Right. I'm so sorry. The internet has ruined me for like ever. Celestia right, Anyway. You mean molestia? How about I? Never mind. <laughs> I can't make a good comeback, and I'm sorry. You know what? I don't, I don't care anymore. It's up. I smell food. I'll be right back. You guys have fun with this one. I am not clicking that. Pencil! <laughs> <laughs> Even GM has his limits. You listen to Garland. <laughs> know your limits. <laughs> well, after all, Garland will knock you down. Just as can I... Unless can I grasp where veto him and doesn't allow him to say it. I, Garland, will knock you all down. Can you stand this? Why can that video be left up? You stand it! Miserable insect. This is no place for the weak. And that's why, <laughs> surprise butt sex, this is no place for the weak. <laughs> you, you know what, Heisen, that should have been the subtitle for this one. This is no place for the weak. Surprise butt sex, this is no place for the weak. <laughs> Gonna that too. <laughs> just as well. Oh God, help me! Why am I? Why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. Why are you doing this to yourself? I don't know whether to say eyes and you inspired me, or made my life worse, or if you're a bad influence, or if it's my own damn fault, or a true hatred. Maybe, maybe I am a bad influence. I'm a bad influence to everyone. Wait a minute, Stone Donkey Kong? Yeah, this boss. Of course, I like to call him obligatory dragon warrior. For Fuck dragon no. Warriors. My apologies. yeah, obligatory dragon warrior monster. If this guy throws barrels at me, I I'm putting the game down. Actually, to be honest, Bro, Eisen, the uh, if you want to say the seal to barrel, then just go right ahead. By the way, Eisen. Believe it or not, the, oh, yeah, uh, I can hear you. How about you make me not hear you? Hmm. All right, back. Hopefully, hey, welcome back. Thing? I, I hate to say this in front of you, Eisen, I respect your opinions, but bring Iris back. Ali is actually worse. I don't care what you think of Iris. I would take her over this. Sorry, anyway, I'll move um, on. I think I'll just send you all a picture that, uh, I, I, I well, th that. this kind of makes me feel a little bit more amused with where what happened to Iris. Uh-oh. Bo is going to rage. Why, what, what, why would I rage? Oh, I if it. it's what I think it is, then yeah, he will. Um, what am I going to rage about? I miss it. Uh, uh, you're, okay, let, let me see whatever this is, and, I'll, and we'll see if I... I'm actually sending you guys a picture. I'm actually uh, not linking... What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? I, what? Time out, Capcom. I touched the hostage. I, I touched the, the help guy. Nothing happened for a second. Then he vanished without saying thank you or anything like that. Did I just lose him? All right, let's have a look at this. Um, if, if, a, if a hostage vanishes without saying thanks, does that mean you lost them? 
Or you, uh, oh, should I wait until after I see the picture before I ask questions that are about seven? One in progress. Why am I thinking of diving? Oh! I know this guy! He's one of my friends! This is CQ Moral. <laughs> yeah, this yep. is CQ Moral. He is a transformation <laughs> artist on DA and is a uh, member and of... And I the follow and I love all of his artwork and stuff. Yeah, he is he's also rather uh, well known in the furry community as well. He really likes to sell himself short, but mm -hmm. don't believe him when he don't believe him. He is good. Oh yeah, GM, trust me, I've seen tons of CQ Morals stuff. It's amazing, and it's stuff that I love. I mean, transformation is not my thing, but on the merits of his sheer artistic talent, the guy is. Very sp spectacular. He breaks the mold for a lot of... Uh, and he's one of those rare t TF artists that doesn't really sexualize it. He doesn't do yeah. it as a fetish. He just does it. And that actually caught, and that actually catches him a lot of flack every time. Yeah. Because um, they can't comprehend the fact that he just draws it to draw it. What did the other two think? Hmm. Because this is this is how I usually see Iris from X4. Would love to hear her to stop barking. I don't know. What do you what do you think, Brent? Capcom, why? why I touched the hostage. Why is it dead? He didn't even click it. <laughs> no. I have to, I, no. No. Wait. wait oh, he wait, did. Wait, he wait, did. Wait, it says three completed, so he did. So is she supposed to be Rush or Hot Dog? Uh, no, that's Bass. Bass, I think it is. It's yeah, treble. 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 It's a treble. treble. It's a treble redesign, essentially. Okay, so it's treble then. Okay, I was trying to figure out what, because the first thing in mind was Russian Hot Dog so from MM2 for some well, reason. Well, it's supposed to be basically sort of a take on her if she was a dog robot. So you're basically calling her a bitch. Blood and quick. Yeah. Uh, robotic furry? Robotic emotion? <laughs> that actually yeah, hurts I, because I, 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 I actually... I, just, there. I actually have... Uh, there's actually another pair of images that Moral did as well about... Uh, with switching role and tango. Hmm. So, Eisen, on that note... Mm -hmm. Does that mean... By the way, you Roll makes a very cute cat. Me having a different opinion than you on Iris? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, great. He said, I don't know. Now I'm in trouble, such because this is going on YouTube. You don't know about what? <laughs> you don't know, Jack. I don't know if he's going to forgive me. Uh, uh, what, what GM said. Uh, we'll just what, go with what GM said. What did you You say? don't know, Jack. <laughs> That's Which why I'm I asking if I knew I wouldn't have to ask. Those videos. Yeah, we do, because I kind of forgot. I kind of dropped the ball on the one video editing. Who, what now? Uh, I still have to edit I mean, like, one video just, and wait, see if I can get rid of the noise. Yes, there was one video we did, but there's annoying noise in the background that just won't go away. And I'm sorry about that. I still haven't looked at Adobe okay. Premiere and tried to figure it out still for that. Okay, so what's that because of this noise, it makes the video virtually unwatchable. Oh, okay, so... Yeah. Um, I'm uh, it's basically remember that um, remember that white noise earlier with this call. Yes. That's going on in the background of all the sounds in the you don't know Jack video. Okay. So what does that do with what I was asking? Huh? So what does that do with what, the, what I was asking? Nothing at all. Then that is a very strange That's answer to my question. I have to say. It has, yeah, it in, that, has... in that response, stupid sexy Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> stupid eaters, don't make me come in there. Oh, I'm sorry, unrelated. What do you want hey, this guys, time? Guys, I got double the mammy. <laughs> You're also a little quiet. Double the mammy. Mammy. 
Having your pleasure, double your fun, that's a statement of the pregnant, double makeup. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that would be a nice thing. For the comment to the first one. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything, all oh, yeah? What does that have to do with the damn thing, woman? Now I hear audio. Of course. Dude stays dead. I should have just loaded my file. Apparently I'm not going to get lucky with that glitch thing. Would you just kill them, Zero? Jesus, they're, they're freaking monkeys. They failed to kill monkeys. <laughs> We have a head on butt tag, or if you prefer, butt snuggle. <laughs> Which totally does happen sometimes. Wait a minute. Oh, Capcom. Put a suspicious pit there and then nothing's in it. Because I've actually seen people in real life do that sort of thing. Which is weird. But if it's your thing, oh, whatever. Well, now this last picture, when I saw it in a Toho Remix uh, video, which actually was a very beautiful uh, remix by a group called Koro called Ahega, which is a remix of one of Marissa's PC-98 themes, Selena's Light. Yeah, I, I actually went through tons of different tags trying to find this one picture because I yes. loved it so much. Yes, you showed, you showed me that one once before and I was like mm -hmm. I love this how did you find this it took and, me and then you told me a couple of hours because yep. it actually did not have any tags really well it didn't have that many tags at all I actually had to add a large number of the tags you now see on there if you check the tag history yeah you'll find out that I put in a lot of tags do, 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 do. Oh, not enjoy the sun. That sure looks familiar. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Um. Okay. Who's Gucci? Not deflecting. That'd be Charlie. I'm wondering why he's barking. Maybe he wants in in this conversation. Okay, these sketches confusing me. What the hell is going Well, here? Rush isn't allowed to be in this conversation. Son, why'd so you glue a spring to the back of your dog? Achievement in uh, Mega Man 4. The down what? Boy. Achievement? Oh, Down Boy? Uh, which is getting through all of Mega Man 4, just using the wire and balloon adapters, not using Rush once. No Rush whatsoever. That yeah. would I have, I have I done it extremely hard in Cossack stage. Yeah, because I remember but, the Cossack stage where you're supposed to. I wonder how you got around that, because that would be interesting to watch. Hmm. You actually have to get the enemies close, so you take the You have to invince Billy through it. Yes. She, uh, man, that's pretty brave right there. I would do that. Totally. And I skill and lack of. Just because I've learned how to do invincibility hit duration going through things like in Harmony of Despair. Mm. Uh, honestly. Where that sort of hit duration is really short. Honestly, in situations where it, it's necessary to do something like that, I, f I feel put off, honestly. If that's like for a challenge or something, it's like, that's not my kind of challenge. I respect well, you can put up with it, but it's just not my thing. If it has to be abused to, to long enough, it just... The survival thing is one thing, but having to do it for a challenge or whatever would just uh, mm -hmm. drive me nuts. I remember in uh, Mega Man Powered Up, Iceman stage. God, Iceman stage. Don't fall off of one of those platforms, or you're going to have to take hits because there's spikes below you. Not a bottomless pit, they give you false hope. Iceman. No, wait, no. Iceman is fine. It's a stage I hate. 
I There's a caution witch flat flying flat sign. Those unpredictable <laughs> platforms that you never know will let the uh, riot eat you, or just makes you take a hit and fall to your death. At least in oh, Powered Up, that doesn't that. happen in nice. my awareness, but they will still snipe you from the other platform and cheap shot. It's like, well, if I jump, I fall. If I take a hit, I fall. I'm double fucked. Thanks, Capcom. Your pal said bad. <laughs> <laughs> So, GM, that picture just kind of makes me think of Kiki's delivery service. I don't know why. Yeah, it kind of does. Cat, perhaps the outfit? Maybe it's the cat in the outfit. I think it's the cat. It has nothing to do with the outfit. It's just the cat and the way that the rest of the room is illustrated. At least for me, and I can see something on the outfit. You know what? She, she may actually be right, and that's not actually usually what I... Huh. I will not deny that I like legs. Especially since the fact that I like having legs. <laughs> I don't like losing my legs, more specifically. Let's <laughs> all agree on that. And we'll just why, say, why, do I get, why do I get the feeling if someone took the time to redo that, they just do what <laughs> that one deleted scene in Spire Shaggy did. I named my left leg piss and my right leg vinegar. <laughs> It's actually one of the deleted scenes quotes uh, during the Jerry Springer moments. <laughs> like he tells um, Dr. Evil, open up to his son, Scott. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tunnels. And that then it's just like random shit so, that doesn't actually involve him do and his son. Uh, do I have to freaking... Okay, okay Axel, uh, you're okay, annoying at this point. Axel. Ah. Yay. Yay. Damn it, Axel, that was a useless form. Thank you for me for forcing me to switch your little Like I said, practically useless all, throughout the whole game. I mean, he was he could throw rocks. yippity doo da, hit someone with them. He could also be immune to spikes in that form. Good for him, there's no spikes here. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was the one thing. Uh, the forms they give you, that you can use, that give you immunities to certain things in the stage in Biohazards... Pointless because those hazards disappear after you clear you know, the first bit of it. Mm -hmm. I found a heart tank. Let me please tell, don't tell me whoever picks it up is the one who gets it, and not anyone else. That's probably. I believe it is the same rule. God damn it! I didn't want Axel to get the heart tank. Ugh. I'm only using right now the zeros at low health. God, she's shit. Yes, God, Jesus, shit. <laughs> I will swear if I have to. It's my body, I can swear if I want to. Fuck, you can't stop. <laughs> oh my God, I played it on spikes and didn't die. <laughs> oh, but I didn't that time. Jesus, I didn't see those spikes coming. Damn. All you, you distracted me. Uh, don't tell me I'm back at... The Wait, no, I don't think I am, actually. No, but I'm not exactly where I was. Oh, oh, I can switch back to zero. He's at full health. Thank you for letting me die. That was a small mercy, actually. Sort of. Nope, not, not even bothering with you. <clears throat> anyway. Can I get through? Can I, can I die instead? Um, okay, okay. Um, why won't you cling to the wall, you... Hmm. Ah. Do I have to... <laughs> Axel, your auto-targeting sucks. Just FYI, pal. Hold the... Sheep, Capcom, sheep! The, wow. Wait, that ostrich was... Wait, can, huh? Wow what, Tom? How? To the picture. Ah. How do... That's all I'll say. And, and also, wow, maybe on those bad luck, but... <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Okay, that depends on whether or not it was bad luck for Bo or good luck. Bitch. Well, no, it's because they spawned a, a, they spawned a, host, a hostage when it ripped up safe off camera. You wouldn't see it unless the camera magically panned to it, and you're you're going down and not up. Yeah, they do that a lot, actually. Oh, they shit. spawn them just before the camera gets there. And then I had to figure out how to reach the guy because. No, can't float to him, too low. No, can't double jump. It's You can't quite make that height, uh, or make the distance, excuse me. And trying to switch to uh, Axel to have him float at the height of a double jump, no, that would be too easy. Why, Capcom, why? And it looks like, oh, God, why does that face where I mean of Sigma? Get it off <laughs> my computer. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. After, after that whole X4, X5 business, Sigma pisses me off. If I even see him. I just want to burn his face off. <laughs> I like your response to that one, GM. Yes. These next two are kind of amusing and awesome. Alrighty. If you see this, you got really like. Either that or you're about to die, you know, one of the two. Mm -hmm. Nah, if you go went through that much, you're probably going to live. No, I mean, die, die of overload. <laughs> oh, good point. She probably has infinitely more stamina than uh, most humans do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, here you go. Two, you, you never see two pictures. Stuff. Very interesting. Carry me. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Monochrome Wizard and Star. Yeah, I wish. Anyway, yeah. I like how when I have the uh, when I have so many tags on the uh, browser, the uh, the fact that it condenses it down to just showing the first two words, which is broom and broom. <laughs> so it, it, when I look at the top, it's broom broom. <laughs> so it's yeah, Marissa in space. So basically, it's the uh, and she still has her hat. <laughs> space <laughs> wizard. So basically, it's the equivalent of those damn Excuse car me. commercials with the zoom zoom thing. Yeah, it was. And of course, this um, awesome powers quote needs to be mentioned. Otherwise, it just feel uncomfortable. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Indeed. NASA would have a field day on that one. Uh, yeah, I think Yukari would have a field day because she would probably chew Marissa out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marissa just going, oh, does does space! Assuming, um, of course, Raymu doesn't first, but Yukari can probably reach her before Raymu could. You'll take her. Yeah. Thanks for telling me, Alia. They already killed me once. Oh, Capcom. That's the game, Bo. Let's further the blonde stereotype. Ingenious. Yes, yes. Anyway. Oh, that's that's, that's not a hostage. There's an enemy. Thanks. Ooh, hey, hey, hey. That's not, that's not cool, guys. Mm -hmm. So my money is on there's something on one of these spikes, and therefore I'm going to have to get dangerously close. Yes. That's my money. <laughs> yeah, you're I know most you likely too. going to need to. I know you too well, Capcom. I'm not. I'm not a fucking retard yet. <laughs> what? What? Axel spazzing out. What? He he wouldn't land, but he wouldn't cling to the to the side of the. He was <laughs> air hopping it. I'm sorry. There's no other word for it. What are you doing, Axel? Get off the platform, you retard. He's still trying to get comfortable to being used in this game. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Make your cut. Oh, I'm blown, you idiot! I was holding the jump. <laughs> oh, Axel! It's great when they shove a new character down your throat that's fucking useless. Well, he gets oh. useful by X8. I was holding the button, Cap. Oh, you're still doing it wrong. But I wasn't. Yeah, you were. But I held the button, and that's exactly what you told me to do. Not good enough. F minus minus. <laughs> 
GM, it may have been a little much even for you. Yes. <laughs> there are things on the internet that are too weird. Too weird. Do I ever want it? Never mind. No <laughs> <laughs> choice, sir. I was gonna say, there are things even I know that are on that same <laughs> line. Uh, oh. Survey says that, there, that Madonna is not a blonde. Thank you, Family Feud. Wait, what? Really? Uh, there's this PS3 game called Family Feud uh, Decades. Family Feud Decades. Uh, you can play 70s, 80s, 90s, or 2000s. I went for I remember 2000s. that. The question was, a survey was, uh, name, real, uh, real or fictional, uh, no, real or fake, name a, name a famous blonde. Madonna did not make the list. So Much to honor. Who in the year 2000 has not heard of Madonna? Yet they've heard of people I don't even know who the hell they're talking about. Barbie I think this brings up with that one guy who didn't know what who Madonna was. I mean, uh, Barbie makes the list, but not Madonna. I, I, I'm I'm not saying Madonna's be all into, but people have at least heard of her, and she was more she's unlike Barbie. She's an actual living person. Ah, oh, how do they survey on these things? And it's not even game tech anymore, unless. <laughs> Unless the PS3 version was secretly made by Game Tech because Fremantle sold out. I'm sorry, am I ranting again? <laughs> um, Kitsune, I'm not talking about uh, Guitar Hero World Tour. I thought, I thought that was the whole point of this <laughs> com. Point of this was uh, my yeah, just to let you rant. This is Random the chaos rambling. com, my, uh, my friends. This is the chaos of course. com. Anything what? goes. What? No, no. Point taken. Yeah. Capcom, if I ever find out who works for you that decided that decided double tap double tap dashing was a good idea, I will cram a controller down your throat. That is the millionth time in my life I've died due to double tap dashing. Leave it to the circle button. I believe you can turn it off in X7. I haven't found a way. After to seven this. games yeah. of this, you would think someone would learn. Don't do that. And now a change of pace. Vocaloids! Yay! After the so many deaths, I can't stand it anymore. The dash button is set. Don't double tap. It just gets people killed. <laughs> I'm taking too much. I can't take it anymore. How did it happen? I can't take your shit anymore. Yeah. Astro Crash. I believe you need an Astro Crash for that game. Astro Crash the game? You risk your reploids, they'll give you valuable chip items. You're not making mm -hmm. them feel better, Alia. You're not I, doing it. I do believe it's actually Alia. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know these things. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not. Well, I'm not familiar. We never with actually Anna. got the. Uh, we never actually got a pronunciation of her name until like X8. X8, and they said Alia. Yeah. And even then, no one knew about X8 had voice acting in it because no one really paid attention to it. Well, I'm going to give Capcom credit then. That's a nice pun name, because she ails me. Well, actually, it's supposed to be a pun on area. Yeah. Too late, I've taken it in my direction, and I like mine better. I'm sorry. Well, I, well, I think, just to cheer I think it works. up, I'm, I'm putting this video... And I heard, and you know what, you, you may have thought I missed it, but I heard somebody playing the Pac-Man Death Sound. You didn't sneak it by me. Uh, actually, that was just my cell phone telling me I had more emails. Fuck you, cell phone, that was horribly timed. 
<laughs> yeah, make my game over feel worse. Make my video no, no. game Pac-Man over isn't feel worse. Okay, so, okay, so GM, this is why I, I, I absolutely had to have you in this call. This is the only way I was going to put up with X7 for even five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's happened. Ever since I wanted to be the guy, I've become this masochistic gamer. The more I scream, the more I keep playing because I am a retard. Tan, I blame you. I don't care if it's illogical. I blame you. And why did you make Gaiden? Why did you make I want to be the guy Gaiden? What possess? Who bribed you? Who bribed you? Oh, I want to be the guy Gaiden. <laughs> and how appropriate I want to be the guy to you is Mega Man X7 to me. Mm-hmm. I, I've had angry moments. I don't. I don't think my anger has ever been pushed to the limit more so than X7. The, the, the only thing though is, in, I beat mine before you did, so you suck. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Who got the fail horn? You got the fail. Anyway. <laughs> Use two items. Why? Why is like? How about I use a chip item to um, erase you from the universe, Alia? Does that sound good to you? Grand. Next. Oh, my God. What was that? That's yeah. a phone. Oh. The Sorry. phone was getting a control from the master receiver, I assume. <laughs> getting a transmission so that the transceiver knows that the phone is there. Oh, we have, we have a we have now a network of wireless phones that can all connect to each other via an intercom function. So I they act it. like cell phones almost. Now I understand. You get signal. All your base. Yeah. Are to him. But yeah, what do you think of that, uh, Minerico? <laughs> oh, I like it. Quite bountiful, isn't she? I, I'd say that. I'd say Harvest this year was great. <laughs> We are in the land of good. Harvest must go as planned. <laughs> Capcom, I hate you. You know. How about more pretty? How about how about more pretty Yuka? So here's a great here's a great choice. More offense or more healing? I'm gonna need the healing, but I know I'm an offensive man. It's not even near the speaker anymore. Maybe it's my actual cell phone. Okay, I know whose cell phone that is, unless you change that ringtone. Nope. Yep, I thought so. If I ever if, if I ever get a cell phone in and I can choose my own ringtone, I know what I'm going to put as my ringtone. <laughs> Wizards and warriors. <laughs> J-Man just said to it. show you, don't be afraid of death. It's just death's annoying. Just like that song. <laughs> however, however, you should also not be afraid of the plane in Top Gun because it smells your fear. <laughs> I had to put that in the description. I'm sorry, it just came to me. Uh, and now I'm foolishly going to use my chip to improve Zero's <laughs> attack power because I'm a wasteful offensive sword. Let's try it again. Now that my rank is already D, never mind. <laughs> and my rank can't get worse, so who cares? <laughs> I can fail as much as I want in my rank. Yeah, campaign. the comments on this are really awesome. <laughs> Zerto making a boo-boo. I believe I've shown this one to Bo as well, but he'll... <laughs> and notice something about the sunflowers. Oh, dear God, they're all facing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even the ones in the back are doing it, too. So that just makes it even scarier. Everything. Yeah, Emblazonist comment is really the the, the one that makes the, di- the, the that makes the picture. Now, uh, Byakugan zero one makes a amusing Team Fortress two quote, but uh, Emblazonist really takes the cake because he turns it into creepy pasta. Here, I can even read it out for you guys. Imagine walking along through an unbelievably large garden of sunflowers. You decide to pick one for your dear old grandmother who's sick, when suddenly, every other sunflower in the field turns to face you, staring, judging you. Okay, Their cold eyes, eyes all witness to your crime. 
You remember those old stories about some crazy demon who wandered the fields? You feel a hand on your shoulder. Game over! Somehow the somehow that death sound death screen sound just makes it feel silly. <laughs> That's because it's I want to be the guy. It's silly hard to a point where it's just dumb. Yeah, it totally killed the creepy. <laughs> and what's hilarious on the internet is there are so many people say, oh, you're just on the game because it's too hard and you never beat it. I beat I want to be the guy. I still say it's stupid. And don't, mm-hmm. and anyone, anyone will bullshit me about, oh, well, you died in the ending. The game wouldn't let me live. It lagged too much. That's not my fault. Game and I believe I heard that click move or something to show that you were trying to avoid it. I honestly was. At first, I was thinking, you know what, maybe I'll let him die out of spite. No, no, I'm not letting this game even have that victory. And, no, game's like, fuck you, you're dead. So, yeah. At the end of the day, Kane still wins. So, no. So, yeah. Well, uh, I put up a link to a video. If you liked that one, I would also recommend... These. Oh yes, I remember this picture, GM. Uh, sorry, I, it's just that. Um, of course. I, I would, but it's right, mm-hmm. right now. I don't have my headset on because uh, I wanted to. You know, my roommate's not in the house right now, so I figure, what the hell? I'd be as loud as I want, and the headset is a little uncomfortable to wear for that many hours straight. So, if I were to play it now, everyone would hear it. it the Skype call probably go nuts. It'd just be. I just want to spare people that. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm wearing my headphones. Which, oddly enough, they're actually open-ear headphones. So even if I was playing something on the side, I would still be hearing you guys while you were talking and stuff. You know, that, that is a fitting title for that book. God damn it. Anyway, <clears throat> right, moving on. I do not quite get the outfit Patchy's wearing in this one. It's cute, but... Jim, you sound a little far away, and... Um, I probably, because I leaned away from the microphone. Anything that comes from Japan, if you're finding sense in it, you're doing it wrong. This one, however... You mean the nonsensical this, outfit here? This one, however, yeah. I get. And especially when I it comes get to this outfit clothing. very well. Clothing only has to make sense of it. Anyway. Ah, yes! It is cute! Aww. Also, I like the quote down there. Meido Pachi. Get. All right, moving away from the cutesy and the silly, we are going to go into something a little serious. Hey. Why so serious? Phoenix. I just put <laughs> overused and cliche. <laughs> Damn it. You're going to quote so sorry. Do Mark Hamill Joker. Uh, what's my life? I'm stuck without a punchline. Well, Uh-oh. actually, I was using quotes from two different movies for that. Mm-hmm. I'm being a goof, don't worry. I know, I, I'm just saying, I mean, I was actually using a quote from two different movies just for that. Just for us, don't we feel special? Yeah, that, and also, I mean, it's a demotivator, too, that the quote style comes from. Whoa, well. okay, um, I think, I think this second recording has been going for a while, actually. We're about to hit the same, uh file size as the last one. All right, I'll let's cut it. We'll, uh, I'll All gather right. up a few more, and we'll... We, yeah. We'll take a pause for... Um, a we'll take a pause for... Yeah. I had, I had, I had something there, and I lost it. <laughs> for your face. Commentary. I, I have something... Cat, there. cat... Uh,